Today is Tuesday, April 9th, 2013. And we're going to have an actual another wheel swap video for you today. It's uh, kind of late in the evening. Uh, it's 10.33. Uh, another long day at work. So I uh, figured I'd do one last wheel swap and then we'll finally, uh, over through the week hopefully, depending on how what time I get home and all that, we'll go over the rest of the finds from, from that uh, week, last week, that I uh, got this weekend. And you know, they're over here, they're pretty much everywhere, and I should have even more uh, here in the next few days. I do have a couple more, but I'll just show those all in one video. So, um, the other two Dotsons, I went ahead and put those Corolla wheels on those. So I think they look better um, with those wheels. They're real fun. Um, but the other swap I wanted to do... I have to find them. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, on one of the uh, IROC Z's. So, oh, come on, focus. There we go. So, uh, not a, uh, if you've watched the video, it's not necessarily a favorite car of mine, but uh, I've got another car that has the perfect size wheels, and that would be this Ferrari 330 P4. I already have one of these, so I don't need two. And uh, I'll give one of my, one of my, uh, what you call it's uh, my my finds or my orders up in this in this video. If you notice the wheels on the RLC, Hyrox Z, if I can get this to focus, focus. There we go. Look at those. We'll go over that in another video. They're uh, pretty much almost identical to actually. I think they are identical. To what's on this car? Um, yeah, they're identical. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this out of the package and go ahead and get ready to go. Um, it is a really this is a really nice casting. So it's kind of a shame to tear it apart, but I already have one and I want the wheels from it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill this out, and then I'll drill the Camaro out now. Camaro has two rivets. This has just the one. So I will probably dr drill this out uh, pretty nicely just because it is a nice cast and I can always put other wheels on it later. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, we'll be right back. Well, actually, you know what? We'll just do it. Uh, hopefully, it won't take too long. We'll just do it on video here. So let's see here. As mentioned in my other video, I do like to drill the pilot hole that needs to be threaded first. And if I remember, I'll put the link to that other video up in the uh, her in the description actually, that way it gives you the list of uh, of tools you need and, and all that jazz, so. I think my bit is wearing down a little bit. Need to put some uh, wax on it, I guess. to get them pretty deep. Alright, so we'll switch to our larger bit here to knock off those tips. And this is not going to be the best quality. I don't have it real close, but there we go. 
go. That should be enough there. Eh, a little bit more. There. Probably help. I near aim the camera down a bit, I suppose. Alright, so hopefully this will go smoother than uh, the last one I filmed. Those two dots in there did, obviously, uh, well not obviously, but they went, uh, went perfectly smooth because I didn't, uh, didn't film it. So, that's the way the cookie bounces sometimes. There we go. I need to take a little bit more off of the... There. That's probably good enough. There we go. Hm. Aha, this one may require a little bit more. That's got to just be pressed on there. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna say I, I can't imagine them doing any any more than that to it. It almost uh, that looks like part of it. Yeah, actually went to the bottom. It's just a pretty tight fit. So now we're gonna cut the little nubs off. Hopefully we get these off fairly easy. I need a, a more precise pair of uh, side cuts. If I've got any out here, probably not. <laughs> yeah, we'll work with what we have, I guess. Yeah, these just aren't really, uh, they're small, but they're just not uh, really good at getting down in there. With the metal ones, that is. If I get to settle them off. Yeah, see these just don't, the tip just well, it doesn't want to get down there quite far enough to knock those off. So, hmm. Still at it. Yeah, what it boils down to, I just need to get a, I guess, a pointier set of nips. Let me, uh, let me see what I've got. And again, since I'm filming this, obviously it's just taking, taking longer. But I'm in no real, real hurry. Kind of one of those days. All right. I don't have anything any any smaller than that. And I don't feel like breaking out that grinder again. My Dremel. Just for a, a quick wheel swap. Some of them, they just pop right out. We'll come back to that later. Now the plastic ones, they've got a little bit more meat on them. They're easier to get out. The metal ones just don't seem to have, you know, just popped out right there. All right, so we've got them out of that. Also, uh, the wheelbase, or the uh, the track width, from side to side, is the same size on this car. I forgot to, forgot to mention that. So, that makes it even for an easier wheel swap because I don't have to do any axles. Yeah, these nips, I just can't, I can get the top layer off, I just can't, uh,
can't get it down there far enough there. Finally, I did bend that one a little bit. I'll bend that back. So I got the rears off. Dig it out, maybe. Nah, front doesn't want to come off. And we were already 10 minutes in. Jeez. Guess I should have did it off camera. All right. Well, there, good lord. So now that one bent a little bit, I'm just taking some flat uh, needle nose, no grip or nothing on them, and just straightening it out a little bit. So I just hold it. Then just, well, hold it and bend it up. I think that's good. All right. Now, these should just pop right in there. There's the back. Actually pops in there a little bit too easy. That's fine. So there's the front, put the back on. Actually, we can just do it upside down. That is technically the easier way to do it. But this front is still a tiny bit bent. I think tomorrow I'm going to look for a better set of uh, just ones that are a little bit pointier side cuts or nips or whatever you want to call them. We call them side cuts at work, so that's straight enough. Do it like this. Just to make sure that it lines up with the slots. It should. There we go. It does. See if we can get that. If I can get that to focus. <clears throat> I'm not going to go. I'm, I'm not going to end this video. It's already long enough. I'm not going to uh, see all that mess there. I'm not going to uh, tap them out. I'll tap them out off camera. You've you seen me do that in another video. It's fit together tight enough that it'll work fine. For video. Let's there we go. So now aside from the metal base and the more detailed version back here, see it in the background, of the RLC uh, version. So this one doesn't have the metal base and it has less details, but uh, you've got a black one that looks a lot like the RLC one. And now the wheel's a little bit higher because it, I don't have it all attached down, but it's good enough for this video since 15 minutes for a wheel swap. Wonderful. Actually, this has almost as much detail as the RLC one, aside from the front headlights, because it does have the rear tail lights and all that. So, anyway, sorry for that mess of a video. Uh, hopefully, I'll get another more precise set of side cuts here, a little bit pointier tip, and we'll be able to do these metal ones a lot faster. Plastic ones are easy, it's these metal ones that are just driving those nuts. So anyway, thanks for watching, please subscribe.